The war has been even more devastating for the most vulnerable members of the community, especially children. Daniel Desta is 13 years old. He lived in western Tigray until about nine months ago, when the violence on Tigrayans living in the area had become so unbearable that him and his family decided to leave. <laughs> I came from Wari in Zagade. I came here some nine months ago. The Fano and Eritrean soldiers chased us out. We first went to Shura and stayed there for about a week and then left to come here to Magala. Daniel says the journey to Magala was grueling. He says he witnessed unspeakable atrocities against civilian Tigrayans, horrors he won't soon forget. <laughs> As we reached the Katasfai, Eritrean soldiers just started killing civilians. They were so angry and firing non-stop. So we went back to where we were and started to travel again some days later. Daniel is now living with his father in the IDP camp after his mother passed away earlier in the conflict. He says he misses school and wished he could continue his education. My mother died after my brother left home, but my father is still alive. I used to go to school. I was a fourth grader before I came here, but there's no school here. I get tutoring here, but it's just a way of killing time, really. Like all IDPs, Daniel and his father are not able to access food and medication, but he says he still is grateful. Life here is better than where I was because at least here there are no air trying soldiers, but there's no food, water or medication here. Our houses are made out of plastic that are ripped easily. We don't have good clothes, so it's hard to live in them. Although Daniel has not been able to attend education for more than two years, he is hopeful that he can soon get back to his education and fulfill his dreams of being a teacher.